What you're looking at now is Bioshock Infinite on everything maxed out with the graphics, running at around 70 frames per second. Now this isn't being streamed from my PC or from my Mac, this is actually being streamed directly from my OnePlus 6T. Now this is using the new service of GeForce Now which is available for pretty much any Android device with the link in the description below. So. Let's take a look. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description down below and download the APK file for the GeForce Now application. You will then need to sign in with your GeForce account and if you don't have one already you will need to sign up for the beta below and you may have to wait a little bit to get your access but once you can you're going to have access to all of your games. Now this isn't necessarily a cloud service as such, all of these games I have purchased through different stores whether it's Steam, Uplay, you mention it, you can pretty much get the actual store you need and then download the game that you want to play. Now a lot of the games do also need controller support as well and that is where the Xbox One S controller comes into play. Once you've got it all into pairing mode and again I'll have a video below on exactly how to do that, you can see then that you're basically using it like you would GeForce Now on your PC or if you've got a games library on your Xbox or PlayStation 4 it's going to look very familiar. You can then load into any game that you've got in your library, so in my case I'm going straight into Doom and again the awesome thing about GeForce Now is it's going to be streaming from some very high powered computers straight across in America for me and again it's going to be able to give me doom everything on ultra settings insane graphics and again the frame rate is going to be very high and then once I've entered my steam password you're going to then see that I'm playing doom everything is on ultra the frame rate looks insane and also one thing that I was massively worried about was the lag but there doesn't really seem to be that much if any at all now don't get me wrong it's not going to be one-to-one -one like if you were playing on a console or on PC but if you've ever used a Bluetooth controller with your Android device, you're going to feel right at home. As you can see here in regards to the graphics, like I've mentioned multiple times, they do look really good and that's one of the standout features of GeForce Now. The majority of the games available on the GeForce Now servers do also have controller support as well, so again if you want to pick up an Xbox One S controller and also the clamp that I'm using, again all links are going to be in the description down below. But the thing that I really love about this is it allows you to take your games out and about and again for me I'm going to be recording them with my OnePlus 6T built in screen recorder to give you guys guys a first impression and hands on in regards to how good these games actually look and how well they play. So let's get into some gameplay. And while the gameplay is playing in the background just remember that this is all streaming to my OnePlus 6T using the GeForce Now service and an Xbox controller. In regards to the GeForce Now service I'm just going to give you a little bit more information with regards to exactly how good the service actually is. Now you've got around 400 supported games and you've got some of your favourites like Battlegrounds, Fortnite, you've also got some Call of Duty games in there as well and like I mentioned you can get them from Steam, Uplay and a ton of other digital stores. One of the other really great features is there's actually no installs required. The fact that it's running off of these really high-end PCs means that technically you do need to go through the install process when you want to play a game on GeForce Now, however the install is basically instant so again you don't need to worry about waiting for a ton and ton of download time, it's going to be pretty much instant access to any game that you want to play. With regards to some of the internet requirements, you're going to need at least 15 megabyte download for 720p gaming at 60 frames per second and and 25 megabits or higher for 1080p at 60 frames per second also. Now you would also need to use either a hardwired ethernet connection or a 5 gigahertz wireless router. Now the really awesome thing about this is if you're using your mobile device, if you're going to be one of the lucky few to be able to get access to 5G, you're going to easily have all of the requirements that you need to to play some of these games out and about on your mobile network. Just don't ask how much that's going to use in terms of megabytes, downloads and your overall bill for that month. With regards to supported Android devices, this is going to work on a ton of flagship phones going back to maybe the Galaxy S9 or even the Galaxy S7 and up from there. Now it is only available at the moment for Android, hopefully it's going to be coming very soon to iOS so that I can play things on my iPad screen. So again I get a slightly bigger gaming experience because some of the menus and things when you're playing on a mobile device are a little bit cramped and a little bit small and again it's maybe not the optimal experience, however if you do want a game out 
and about, this is definitely one of the better options out there. Now we obviously have Google Stadia coming up very shortly, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that competes in regards to the quality of the games, the quality of the actual gameplay itself and the streaming, just to see exactly how it's going to compare with GeForce Now, who, let's be honest, have doing it for quite a long time. And that's going to do it guys for this video on the GeForce Now service for Android devices. As I mentioned, everything's going to be linked in the description down below in regards to where to get yourself an Xbox One S controller, the mount that I'm using in this video, and more importantly, the APK download file for the GeForce Now service. Now do let me know in the comments section down below if this does or doesn't work for your device so that other people that watch this video can really quickly have a look at the comments to see if it's worth downloading or not. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you've got any questions or comments about the GeForce Now service or anything else on the channel, let me know in the comments section below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to do so. I have got a ton more videos like this coming up very soon in regards to Android customization, tips, tricks, a little bit of information with regards to Call of Duty Mobile on PC. So definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you're notified any time that I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. I'm going to get back to some games now and I'll catch you guys in the next video.